Hi, David here of Lancaster Automart A to B. And here we've got the 2012 62 plate Honda CRV. It's a 2.2 diesel and it's an EX model, which is top spec. So what I'll be doing in this video is showing you some of the features you get on this model and showing you condition of the vehicle. So what I'll do is I'll show you if, any, if there's any sort of wear and tear at the end of the video, because I haven't spotted any yet. So as I go around, I may pick some up. But first, we'll just start with the alloy design. And as you can see there, there's no wear or tear on that alloy at all. And then on to the next part, you get the little side skirt, or well, I should say side step at the bottom down there. It's also got roof bars on it, this model, alongside tinted windows around the rear. And as you can see along the bodywork, with my reflection there, there's no dints, nothing distorting myself. Then onto the driver's side front alloy. Again, no wear or tear to be found on that. Got no clouding on the headlights either. And you've also got headlight washers on this model. Alongside a parking sensor at each end. So there's one over there. Then there's another one just down there. And then onto the passenger side. So there is a little bit of curbing on that alloy, but it's not too bad at all there. And then down the side of the vehicle, again, you can see no scratches, no dents. And we'll just come on to the last alloy. So that one again, very good condition. So there's only a little bit of curbing on one of them. Not bad considering the vehicle's now 10 years old. So onto the rear. So again, got parking sensors along the back. So you've got one, two, three, and four and then there is a camera on this one right in the middle there so what we'll do i'll just pop the boot open there we are so as you can see there's plenty of room you've actually got two levels in this one so you've got the parcel shelf there so each seat can individually be moved forward which is why each of these connects to them individually so i've left them alone for now just so i can show you how those seats work in a minute You've also got this sort of shelf in the middle. So again, I'll show you how that works in a second. But for now, looking at the actual space the boot provides, absolutely bags of room. We've also got a spare wheel underneath, a little strap over on that side to keep the something in place, and a 12 volt power outlet. What I'll do is I'll just lift this up and out of the way for the moment. There we are. And the way the middle bit works is it just folds out, clicks in place there, and then you've got a couple of layers to the boot. And this literally just slides back in, just grab the other end, pop it in, there you are. All back together again. So we'll have a look at how the seats work from the back. It's a little bit easier with one hand. So once you're in the rear, first you'll notice lovely interior, very plush seats as well. Also got an armrest in the middle, the two cup holders in it. So as far as the way the seats work then, so, we can just move one forward like that and again we'll just budge that one there's also a little strap at the bottom so you can tilt everything forwards so these seats can be moved independently as i said it's also the backrest sorry that moves so i'll just show you how that works so you lift this up and then you can put it way further back so you can have the seats really reclined in this vehicle there's also rubber matting as well, so a little bit harder wearing. So if you do want to use the vehicle off-road anywhere and you're likely to get muddy shoes, definitely the ones for you there. Also got electric windows all around. Electric folding wing mirrors just next to your vehicle stability assists off. Then got three-way electric adjustment on the driver's seat. And as we hop in now, around the wheel, you'll notice you've got cruise control over on the right-hand side. Got the buttons for your trip computer down at the bottom then you've got your dedicated phone and voice control buttons underneath on this side and your radio controls up at the top i'll just start the engine as well there you go straight into life just under a thousand rpm sign of a very healthy engine and the mileage there eighty-two thousand three hundred and four. so it's done a bit less than sort of ten thousand miles a year it's done roughly eight thousand a year so not too bad over on the left hand side of the wheel we've got automatic lights over on the right hand side, we've got automatic wipers and also got a little button down here for your parking sensors and your headlight washers. What I'll do is, I'll, and then over on the uh, infotainment screen, you do have sat nav, I'll just make sure the volume's off. So we'll leave that alone for now, but it's just showing our location, White London Industrial Estate. Proceed to the highlighted route. 
and then just to make sure that volume's off must have left the destination in but you've got multiple ways to connect up audio devices as you can see there and then as shown before you do get reverse camera and you go in reverse you can see where you're going so moving on from the infotainment screen just underneath you do get dual zone climate control in here as shown by passenger side being on 16 degrees drivers on the 17 just turn that off for now just down here you've got a 12 volt power outlet and a couple of storage areas You've then got sort of the centre console area. So you've got handbrake there, nice manual one, two cup holders, you've got heated seats with a high and low setting. You've then got two armrests, which can be moved out away in the front. And you've got this sort of little centre console area with a slidey tray. And just underneath, got aux input down there and a 12 volt power outlet. If you're wondering where you can find your USB slot, that's just hidden in this little area here. And you just lift that up, press the little grey tab, and you've got USB input there. So you can actually charge a device out the way in this little sort of upper glove box. And then you've also got the lower one, full of all the book pack and service history. And then last little feature, you do have a little button up here for a blind. And what that does is it closes this. So you do get sort of like a panoramic style roof. If we just press close, you'll see there, this is how it functions. It rolls out from the center. And then obviously you open it again with that one. So if there is anything I've missed or any extra info you want, don't hesitate to get in contact with us and we'll see what we can do to help. Thanks, take care, bye.